welcome to the bonus Halloween episode of Johnny's Music and Movie Corner. What we are going to talk about today is the scariest movie that you have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> What's it going to be? You, you have to go first because I, I can't kick that off. But what is the scariest movie that you've ever seen? All right. The scariest movie by far for me mm-hmm. of all time that I still really don't want to sit through. Ooh. Okay. I really don't want to sit through this movie. Can I guess? And certainly I don't think I would sit through it like by myself on like a windy fall night. I don't think I can sit Today. through this movie by Today. myself. Today as a 53 year old no, man. Just put it out there. Okay. A 53 year old man. Okay. Do it. Go ahead. Guess. Exorcist? Exorcist. Yeah, I got it? Yes. The Exorcist. Dude, the Exorcist and the demons yeah. and the, the vomiting Dude. and the head oh, spinning. Right. And I, I'm telling you, yeah. I accidentally saw that mm-hmm. when I was a young child. Yeah. And it's like, I didn't even understand right. what was going on. Right. And I'm asking questions right. like, why is this happening? Right. It's like, oh, there's a demon yes. that took possession of the right. girl. And I go, oh. That's something that can happen. <laughs> like there are demons. Right. First off, just the fact that there are demons. <laughs> Second of all, well, how did the demon get like, inside? Right. Well, oh, there's a game called a Ouija board. Yeah. And if you play this game, uh-huh. a demon right. can take possession of your soul. Because you become vulnerable. Well, I didn't right. because just open understand the fragile, yeah, the fragile eggshell mind, mind yes. <laughs> of an eight-year-old child that not only are there demons, mm-hmm. but there's a board game right. that is a gateway to, to the, the world of demons. Yeah. Now, let's just say we get through all that, right? And okay, I accept that there are demons and I accept that, you know, Parker Brothers or whoever makes a board game yeah. that basically has a gateway to, to the demons. <laughs> well, now, now now right. they take possession of your soul right? and then they force you to do all sorts mm. of crazy things which they write inside out on your change, skin, God, the into, eyes yeah. change color, the head, the head spinning around, the levitating, yeah. profanity. and I, I, I found the priest oh, yeah. to be as scary as, as, the, as, the, as, the, as, the possessed, mm-hmm. as the possessed girl because right. now the only person the power of Christ in the world the power of Christ compared right? to so there's no Nothing else that yes. can possibly help you. Right. Nothing else in the world can help you well, with this again. demon is a is some kind of priest that you have to hunt down yeah. to be able to remove the demon mm-hmm. from your soul. Right. I am I'm telling you right now right. that I'm that I'm uncomfortable talking about right. that. Well, what a great just movie. so that is yeah. by far, like yeah. far and away, yeah. the scariest movie right. that I have ever and, experienced. You know, different kind of scare too. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that would be in the same uh, genre as like the omen. Love the omen. Love not the scared omen. at all by the omen. Not scared at all. Not no, Satan not himself. Even a, Satan, Satan himself, himself as not, a little boy. Oh, come yeah, on. not. I find it less it's frightening. You, Damien. I find it less frightening come on. that there can be an antichrist <laughs> born of a of a dog. The jackal. That, right, that, the jackal. Right. The whole board game demon portal really that freaks was me way out. Way scarier man. for you. So, Christine. So what is the most scary movie of all time? The movie that freaked me out the most. I have blacked it out of my mind pretty much. Wow. It still affects me. <laughs> like, right. I so you're getting a little verklempt just little talking bit, about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But it was Halloween in like high school with some girlfriends. We watched this movie called Mirrors. And it was essentially like at night, you had to cover your mirrors with like black paint. Every person in the movie had to like cover their mirrors or like paint it with like black paint or else, you know, the other dimension on the other side, it would be like, you'd be looking at yourself and you are killing yourself like in the mirror, but it's also mm. happening to you in real life. Even though you're right. not, like, there's like a part where a girl is in the bathtub. She starts bleeding from her neck. Right. She's like, what's going on? Gets out of the bathtub, looks at herself in the mirror, and it's her with like a shard of glass just like across her neck. Right. Just like, I don't look at mirrors at night now. Like, wow. when the lights are off, I'm like, wow. I can't right. that was the, That's the yeah. next level. And, yeah, and that's really what and like a, a good horror movie does. Right. Like, for a while, it changes your life. It changes <laughs> what you'll like, just subtly, right? Like, right. in the mirror thing, like where you just won't look at that mirror. Right. Because yeah. uh, you right. never know. You know, and, and all about good guy, uh, Rob Feeling. Yes. You know, 
and so he mentioned Jaws to me as his favorite. Oh, Jaws is a life You know, and, and people didn't go in the water. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, dude, there I... There's a generation that didn't go in the water. And, you know, he's not wrong. I mean, people, you know, people didn't no. go in the water. Well, <laughs> to this day, I don't want to be the person farthest out in the water. Is that right? Like, when I'm out in the ocean, I always just make sure somebody's out a little bit right. farther than me right. on the beach, and I figure that the Jaws will get down. Right. So right. this is hard for me. I know, but just give us... Right. So I, I understand. Is, and I'll tell you why. But you got to you gotta give us something. Like I mentioned previously in one of our earlier podcasts, you know, when I was frightened so bad. And what was it? What movie it was, was the it? hand. Carrie. Carrie, right. With the hand. With the hand. It was intense. Yeah, yeah. Carrie's an intense it's movie. Inten- for it's sure. It's time. You know what I mean? That, right. Dude, and see, that really... From top to bottom. Right. And see, like you said, like that really like... Well, it like, changed scared me. you so bad well, that it like was, it gave you a thirst. And it was... And it's funny, more. like like Haven said, it was a jump scare. But then, yes, I guess I... I I guess I got, a, you know, a little fix. You know what I mean? I was like, I got high on the, the adrenaline. Get is there a movie you that, know, like, when I'm you were like watching that, the... that, like, when you turned off all the lights mm-hmm. and nobody else was home, when you were, like, I don't know, like, nine, ten years old, that you would, like, walk a little faster to get into your room? Yeah. That's tough. Man, because I, I fell in love with that. Like, yeah, see, that's nuts. I mean, I, mean, I, like, I cannot relate. Really Halloween, <laughs> Hall- Halloween, John Carpenter's Halloween changed my life. And, and listen, when I say changed my life, these are it's a term I use when I'm like, this had a huge impact right. on me. You know right. what I mean? You know, The Shining changed my life. Yeah, The yeah. Shining, that's a nutty movie, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, scariest? I don't know, man. I, I guess I have category. You know what I right. mean? Like, that, that was a great film. This so there's no movie life. that after you saw Carrie... Like when you were, even when you were no, uh, still it, it, a child, it's like the switch. No, real life nothing. scared me more. Like for real. Fine, so you fine. were more real s- life monsters. You know what I mean? Right. Like you, you know, I would watch things about the Zodiac, and and I would just become enraptured. You know what I mean? Like, now yeah. the Exorcist was based on like a ha- some sort yeah, of happenings sure, of like yeah. loosely based, right? Yeah, on, yeah. On the, you know. How about the Amityville Horror, man? Oh, it, nothing. Okay, so Amityville, Amityville Horror is a thing. Did you see that? No. Yeah, you shouldn't. Okay. Like, don't watch that. <laughs> so, that show is nuts. Yeah. That scared me. So, so I think what we have here is mm-hmm. you have mm-hmm. horror based in reality, mm-hmm. right? Of things yeah. that actually happened mm-hmm. that you're frightened mm-hmm. by. Whereas I think that I'm, I, you know, like Christine, you can agree, right? Like yeah. real, like fictional horror, right. like what the mind can right. come up with. Right. These scenarios that like your imagination is the is yeah. is, is right. the limit. You know what I mean? All right. Well, hey, listen, everybody, happy Halloween. Yeah, happy Halloween. Go watch a scary movie. <laughs> totally. And check in with Johnny afterwards. <laughs> happy Halloween. Halloween, everybody. Take care.